Hello, we are going to use Python subprocess to convert MP3 file into WIP file. And uh, we're going to use the module subprocess globe and uh, pass command to shell to finish the job. Let's see how to do it. You can see we have MP3 files and uh, some programs such as others, it asked for a WIP file and it didn't give the convenience to use MP3 files, so we convert it first. Let's see, we import a globe. Globe is a module, it let us use wildcard, for example. We get a list of all the mp3 files, okay? We build a list, an mp3 list as. And we can see the length of the list is, we have 39 files, mp3 files. And let's write a uh, script to convert it. First, we replace the name. For example, the file name is a string. If we want an MP3 fi file, end up to WAV file, we do it this way. We didn't replace MP3. We left it there, and leave it there. Leaving it there makes us know the WAV file is from MP3 file. You can do it a different way. And we are going to edit the script to convert to accept the file name and convert it to mp3. The command line is actually we are going to use ffmpg for example and this is the command line. We didn't specify any option for the ffmpg. We don't want it because we just want to test the script and uh, after it works we can add up more options for example bit rates and uh, quality of sound okay actually mp3 file is a kind of compression of music file it uh, lose some information details but uh, it's unnoticeable for human ears so Wayfair can contain more details of the source music. So convert MP3 to Wave is not a good way to go, but others, another music application is to mixing different kind of musics. It requires for Wave file, so it's why we I'm doing this. It's not recommended, but for showing how to use the process and uh, use pass use Python to script for some automatic tasks, it can serve the purpose. Okay, let's see how we made it. We build a command. Build the command. It's a list. The first in the command, ffmpg, and give it an uh, option. Dash i means input file. Input file is the name, and we have already added uh, add the dot wave to the end of it. Then we pass the command. We use subprocess. Here, sp is subprocess because we import subprocess as sp. Let sp check call check call means it will give us the return value of the command, the running results, okay? 
and before that we do a few checks before the running, before the sub-process running. First uh, we see if the name is green. It's a uh, kind of stupid checking, but we don't want anything else but string. Then we check it and with the mp3, dot mp3, we make sure we are not going to redo the already converted dot wave file. Then if it fall into the unwanted case, we use else to print some information and it's all basically this is the job get done. Okay. This is the simple function. We write and uh, return. Now we get the function ready and we, you can see SP is the sub process module. You can see check how a strong command with argument wait for the command to complete. Yes, we don't hurry because we just want the job finished automatically. So we don't need to parallel the task. Okay, then I'm list in the list. So for MP3 in M list, we call it. Then add some information to tell us what's happening. Going to do for the MP3 file, okay. We're not going to your string format function. Just do it. Okay. Then drop past to the command land and uh, and it will go into keep running okay this is how we use python scripts to automate the daily tasks okay you can see we are not going to type in command and quite a few wave are already coming to exist Okay, it's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.